Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments and Condos. I'm walking into a nice two bedroom at 907 Washington. It's unit number 1D. And as you walk in, you see the living room. And you notice immediately that the apartment gets quite a bit of natural light. The, uh, the window is facing north, I believe, but still you get very good light all day long because the window is facing the parking lot. So it's an unobstructed uh, window. The uh, parking is included with the rent, so you will get a parking spot. And from the window, as I go back towards the front door, we see that there is a tile entryway and an entry closet behind those mirrors, and that you have a very nice living area with hardwood floors. We can also see into the dining area, which is uh, contiguous with the kitchen and has a ceiling fan. So I'm gonna walk actually back towards the entry and open up the closet for you. This is still an occupied apartment, so I don't wanna be too invasive, but you see you have shelf space, a light fixture, a hanging bar, and the closet has got to be at least six feet in length and about two feet deep. If I turn back towards the rest of the apartment, we see down the hallway is uh, our both bedrooms in the bath. And one more look at the windows to show you the air conditioning unit. That actually works very well. So it's a nice living room. The dining area is probably I don't know, 10, at least 10 feet, probably 12 feet by about eight feet across. So it's a nice big space. Again, you have a, a ceiling fan. And as I walk, actually before I walk in, there's a nice little closet, sort of a pantry area or broom closet to the right, just as you go into the dining area. Now, standing at that closet, you see I'm closer to the table, and I begin to see the kitchen. The heat is baseboard heat, so it's like radiator heat in that it's hot water heat in a central boiler system, but it's a baseboard, so it's a little more even. You can see it's a super clean kitchen. Tile floors, which is really nice, very clean. Full-size dishwasher, cabinets underneath the twin stainless steel hang sink there is a hose attachment for dishes lots of storage above the uh, countertop which is laminate rather than stone the microwave is the tenant so that does not uh, or that is not included the window is facing north and there we see a big fridge that fridge is probably close to six feet high more cabinet space a nice new stove hood full-size stove that's not brand new but looks new and a little bit more cabinet space so let's start with the stove and again this is an occupied unit so we have a good tenant who keeps everything very clean there you see the countertop it, like i said it's a laminate the stove hood would have both a light and a fan let's see there's the fan you can hear and let's, can I get the light to go on? There you go, there's the light. And you do have a nice filter underneath, which will take care of a lot of smoke. Actually, if you were to blow a cigarette into it, the air would come out clean. So there's the stove up there, full-size stove down here. We, of course, will clean it, although it looks pretty good. The cabinet space, is sort of like the standard maple cabinets you see often about 30 inches high, three shelves, 10 inches deep. Um, the one over the stove hood would be more like 12 inches high. Underneath is important though, because the underneath cabinets go quite a bit deeper. So you can put pots, pans, and appliances down here. And right there we have a drawer Oops, I'm hooked on the cabinet. And there we see the drawer. Again, it's an occupied apartment, so I hate to be too invasive, but I do want to show you the freezer with shelves on the right. 
and the fridge. Whoops, a daisy. I'm not very coordinated. Crisper drawers on the bottom, butter dish on the right, more shelves. So nice appliances. And again, this fridge has got to be at least five feet, 10 inches or a little bit more. There we go, get back into focus. Show you the stainless steel sink, which this building has terrific water pressure. Oops. And I don't even know if I was showing the water pressure. It also sprays, it drains well. Twin stainless steel sinks. Um, underneath is bone dry and easy to use as storage. Again, it's a little bit deeper, so that's nice. You have another drawer, and there are the pots and pans that I was talking about. And then up above, you have more of the cabinets that you saw above the stove. And there's the little one foot cabinet. And here's another big cabinet. And I have to speed this up just a little bit, but you have an outlet there. The microwave, like I say, is not uh, the apartment, it does not stay, but the dishwasher does, and it's a full-size dishwasher. You have a lot of outlets. So it's actually a very nice kitchen. So let's see if I can show this to you one more time. Lots of cabinet space, full-size appliances, good storage underneath, more cabinets, twin stainless steel sink, good counter space, big dishwasher, and more storage underneath. So we'll come out of the kitchen, and just again, that little closet I showed you, look across the living room, there's our cat, finally came out. Um, and we'll walk towards the bedrooms. Before we get to either bedroom, we have another smaller closet, which is a linen closet. Actually very nice. It's two feet deep, probably two and a half feet across, which would be 30 inches. To the right is the bigger bedroom with an air conditioner. It's facing north again. Um, and you can see she's got, this is at least a queen size bed. And it does not look big in this uh, bedroom at all. I'm gonna go to the other side. There's the parking lot out back. And if I step behind the bed, whoops a daisy, and swing around, you see that we have very good closet space here. And I will go show you those closets right now. Again, not wanting to be too invasive, please understand you have two identical size closets. They're both about five to six feet across with a shelf and the hanging bars. So it's very good storage. And then you would have the same thing repeated just behind the door a little bit. And there we go. And I really hadn't wanted to be in the video. Back to the hardwood floors, which are very nice. And before we go into the bath, this bedroom is a little bit smaller, but still nice size. I think this one's more like 10 by nine or 10 and a half by nine. Um, if I walk into this and swing around, the window is facing west, but it's close to a building. So you don't really get a lot of view. You do see a nice size closet, which will be very similar to the other closet, except I think this is a little bit more like eight feet from side to side. So there's only one, but it's quite far across. And again, it's two feet deep. This is where the uh, kitty litter is. So I don't really want to focus on that. What I'll do is I'll step out again. And before we go in, oh, come on now. There we go. Just give you another look at the bedroom. And I don't think the first bedroom would handle a king size bed. The second bedroom, I don't think would. The bath is a nice clean bath, tile floors, tank uh, toilet, which is nice. Beautiful sink, really. Again. Good water pressure, drains nicely. 
The building is a well cared for building. This looks like a newer base actually. And if I open it up, you see we can store quite a bit of stuff under there. Nice medicine cabinet. Very big actually. And there's the light fixture right on top. So when you're looking in the mirror, you'll get a lot of light, which I'm gonna avoid doing. Here's the bath, the shower and the bath. The shower is probably about six feet high. The tiles are super, super clean. So there are the tiles. The tub, of course, it's an occupied apartment. We need to clean that a little bit, but let's check the water pressure. So there's the hot water only. And there you see we have a good water pressure. And it drains nicely. Observation. Try not to get wet. And leave it as I found it. You also have towel bars on that side. And again, you don't have a radiator, but you do have the baseboard heat in the bathroom. So that's nice. You also have a fan here. I've never liked the way those things sound, so I didn't turn it on. And the tank can load. Okay, so both bedrooms, the bathroom, the kitchen, very, very nice. And that brings us into the living room, and we are back at the front door. Thank you for watching.